Hello Torters, welcome to the Wondershire Farm YouTube channel. Today we're going to be retorting penne pasta with marinara and pepperoni. We opened a pouch to take pictures after retorting and it was so good we had it for dinner that night. Full disclaimer, we are not experts this is a diary of what we do on our homestead and in our kitchen. This recipe is not approved by USDA or the National Center for Home Food Preservation. Retort canning in general is not approved by the USDA for use in the home. Retort is a commercial canning procedure to be done in a commercial kitchen and therefore falls under the FDA rules and standards. Do your own research if your kitchen, equipment, or sanitary practices are not up to FDA minimum standards then you should not try retort canning. You alone are responsible for what happens in your own kitchen. Any retort canning should be done at your own risk. Welcome back. Now all that's out of the way, let's talk penne pasta, marinara, and pepperoni. This pasta dish is delicious. We have to use an advanced chamber vacuum procedure that we call the hockey puck technique. The hockey puck technique is freezing your liquids into a hockey puck shaped ice cube to make it easier to get a tight vacuum seal. This prevents boil over. First, we assemble our wet ingredients the day before we're going to retort. We mix all of our wet ingredients together and then we put them in a silicone baking dish, which in our case holds about a half a cup, makes one half cup size hockey puck. Then we freeze them overnight and for ready use the next day. By freezing the liquid, we can prevent boil over. Boil over is when the vacuum inside the chamber is so low, it causes water to boil without heat. Important note here, you do not want to pressure can frozen items. You want to make sure they're thawed before turning on your pressure canner. So let's get to the recipe. This recipe is for a single pint size pouch. So adjust the size of the recipe for your entire batch. First, we need to make the hockey pucks. For every pouch, I want one quarter cup of water and one quarter cup of spaghetti sauce and one eighth teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. The night before, I combine the water, spaghetti sauce, and balsamic vinegar, and then pour them into our half cup molds, our half cup silicone molds that we use to make our hockey butts. Our liquids, when they're done, should weigh 4.5 ounces. I let these ingredients freeze in the silicone mold overnight, creating our hockey bucks. The next day, I gather my dry ingredients. I need one ounce or four grape tomatoes cut in half. I need 2.2 ounces of penne pasta or two thirds of a cup. Any good baking pasta will work. 0.3 ounces of sliced pepperoni that I've dosed into smaller pieces. Note, I only use shelf stable pepperoni. The stuff that you can find in the grocery store that's in the dry food section. I don't use deli pepperoni and I don't use anything that's refrigerated. It must be shelf stable already. That's my personal choice. You can make your own. I use shelf stable pepperoni because it's already properly preserved and I don't have to worry about it. Now I've got all my ingredients together. I get to putting them, uh, putting the patches together. I put my red solo cup on my scale and I zero my scale. And then I add and a pasta until it reached 2.2 ounces, roughly two thirds of a cup. Then I add one ounce of grape tomatoes. This is usually about four tomatoes cut in half, but it may vary. The scale should now read 3.2 ounces. Then I add 0.3 ounces of sliced pepperoni that I cut into smaller pieces. The scale should now read 3.5 ounces.
Then I take the marinara hockey puck and I put it in the bottom of the retort pouch. And then I dump the ingredients from my red solo cup on top of the hockey puck. I place the retort pouch in the JVR VAC 100 and I have one plate in. The vacuum settings I'm using for this are 35 seconds with a 2.8 second heat time and a six second cool time with the retort bar installed. Once the JVR finishes its cycle, I remove the pouch and I set it inside my canner and continue working on the rest of the pouches for my batch. Once I've finished assembling all of my pouches, I wait 30 to 60 minutes until the hockey pucks inside the pouches turn to slush. This part is important so that the pasta gets mixed well with the liquid. Once it's turned slushy, I take it and work it through my hands so the slush and the pasta are well mixed. Once I know all the pouches ingredients have been mixed well, I'll go ahead and add my one and a half inches of water to the bottom of my canner. Remember, I want to come up from the bottom of the pouch one and a half inches. No more. I close the lid on my canner, checking to make sure I have a good seal. I'm going to use the following settings, 20 minutes at 15 PSI. Your pressures and times may vary depending on your location. Thank you all for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to our channel if you haven't and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. If you don't like the video, leave a comment below. Let us know what we could do different. We really appreciate the feedback. I want to thank JVR Industries for loaning us this piece of equipment. Thanks, JVR.